This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to North Dakota Today. Happy Thursday. We've got a little specialty for you. Yeah, we, we added a co-host this morning. We did. <laughs> Nathan Hopper, you should do this every day with us. Hey, you know, you guys are great, so <laughs> I might have to. Okay, we're obviously bringing you on early because of all the rain out there. I asked Heidi, how does her hair still look like that? It's so curly. I went out to bring my daughter uh, to school because I didn't want her to wait at the bus stop. I just, it's, it's yeah. pouring Luckily, out there. I've been, in, I've been in here since like 3.30, 4 a.m., so it was pretty quiet when I got here. So <laughs> luckily my hair is okay for now, but a lot of folks having the rough hair day. You can see on the radar a lot of moisture <laughs> making its way across the metro, moving to northern Minnesota at this time as well. So a lot of greens, a lot of yellows, and a lot of reds. Means a busy, we've got a lot, busy morning a busy for you. Day, yes, a lot absolutely. of that heavy moisture as well. But it is a first alert weather day. Uh, as we've been talking about all week long because there is still some potential for some impactful weather and some uh, localized flooding because we oh. are expecting such heavy rainfall uh, for today I as well. I think we have a little flooding in our parking lot. Uh, there probably And is. I would imagine underpasses and stuff like that. You've got to be careful. parking yes. lots, the whole thing. So, of course, that first alert weather day. But uh, let's take it full screen and we'll show you guys what we've got going on. So there's our uh, Devil's Lake Home Economy Skycam. We've got some raindrops on the lens there. You can see some dark clouds looming there on the horizon there in Devil's Lake. But here's what we're seeing in Devil's Lake. One little storm making its way into town there as we speak. But this whole complex of moisture is making its way from south to north with that moderate intensity rainfall for a good number of us there in northern Minnesota. Then across I-94 seeing uh, some of that as well. So we're also watching this out near Willow City. This is well west of us, but this is moving on a more easterly direction when the main system we're seeing is moving south. So we could see uh, that make its way into our Devil's Lake Basin counties here as we into head into the lunchtime hour into the afternoon. Some of those storms could be on the stronger side as well as those move through. But look at this, Monoman County up toward Clearwater, Beltrami County, those oranges there indicate that heavier rainfall at this time. So as we're saying, a rough hair day for some folks, especially in a portion of northern Minnesota. I'm watching then this line of showers, which was a bit more organized about an hour ago, has really fallen apart, but we're still seeing some rumbles of thunder there in Griggs County, north of Cooperstown, out toward the Carrington, New Rockford area, seeing some rain moving towards you. And then in the Devil's Lake area, Benson County, seeing that moving down toward Eddy County with some heavier downpours. Here's the big picture. This is the system we're watching moving across the I-90 corridor just to the east of Pierce, South Dakota. But you can see it's basically a whole line of rainfall all the way from Bemidji all the way down to I-90 south of Pierce. So that's where we're seeing the moisture coming from that will continue to be affecting us as we continue through the rest of today. So the hour by hour shows that moisture moving through. You can see a good number of us seeing rainfall for the lunchtime hour. The bus stop for the kiddos, southeast wind around 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting at times to 30 and still soggy at the bus stop there at 3 o'clock. For your evening commute tonight, things do start to be slowing down across our Devil's Lake Basin counties, but in Minnesota from dinner time and even on after dinner time, rainfall continuing there for our Minnesota neighborhoods. And I do expect though by about midnight or so these to finally exit off toward the east, leaving behind some calmer conditions for us once that system exits. Cloudy skies overnight tonight still could see some 50s for those temperatures overnight. But the one thing we're watching, especially with that localized flooding, is in the Southern Valley, where we're expecting one to three inches of total rainfall from this particular system making its way through. But a good number of us could see those uh, quarter inch to two inches or more from I-94 and points toward the north. So going to be a rainy one, of course, the VNL weather app. It's free. You can track the radar on there and I'll be doing uh, updates through the morning. And of course, Hutch will have updates for you this evening as well. But uh, Heidi and Lisa, I'll send it back to you guys, and hopefully it's drier on that side of the studio than it is outside. <laughs> it is such a soggy mess it outside is, right now. Really, I just really listened heavy to rain. it. It was hard to get out of bed because you're listening oh, to soothing. that, and it's like, ah, oh, Very peaceful. Really? I could see that. <laughs> anyway, sure. anyway, thank you, Nathan. You bet. Okay, so we have some big news, especially for Vikings fans. I love it when local guys play for the Vikings. Like I'm, that's why I'm a big Adam Thielen fan, uh, DL guy, who's that big. Well, now we have another local Minnesota football star coming back home. Apparently, the Minnesota Vikings have uh, claimed former Jaguars tight end Ben Ellefson. And Ben is from Holly, Minnesota. And so he's been off and playing for a while. Um, but yeah, he was a tight end um, for the Nuggets. And then and a Bison player as and well. And a Bison player. So we just love our football players too. So anyway, this is um, exciting though that he, he posted on Instagram yesterday um, with the hashtag skull, the, you know, the skull. <laughs> you know that was going to get people fired up. That's yes. all you have to say. Yes. Uh, he may be new to the Vikings, but of course, uh, he has been a Viking in the past. He was named to the Minnesota Vikings All-Star. 
star team. Oh, so, very uh, cool. Super exciting. I uh, can't wait to watch him. And, and yeah, no, that'll be he's fun. A, someone people love. I think, didn't we say he played until 2019 for the Bison? Yes. So he's 15 to 19. Very fresh, mm -hmm. just out of uh, NDSU and uh, now a Vikings player. And yeah, yeah playing exciting. with. Adam Thielen. So maybe this is Lucky the year. Guy. This is the year for the Vikings. Exactly. I'm watching. We say that every year. <laughs> this is going to be it, though. This is going to be the year. <laughs> it could be. And we want to remind you the YWCA Chocolate Fantasy is happening today. We had the uh, gals on yesterday and uh, talking about the silent auction, they had that really cool uh, jersey, Chargers mm -hmm. jersey. Exactly. Um, up on the uh, silent auction. There's all sorts and of fun stuff. All those stuff. treats, those chocolate treats they left for us didn't last very long. Anyway, it starts at 11 this morning, though. 11 to 7 today at the Delta by Marriott. Lots of tasty treats. And of course, it all benefits the YWCA, one of their biggest fundraisers. So, yeah. And a um, good day for chili because there's, exactly. there's chili as well. So, yep. you can go have a little lunch and warm your belly. That's right. With some chili. So, I love this story. Okay, so when babies are born at the zoo. So, the Red River Zoo announced that they've chosen names. You've probably heard this a little bit already, um, but the panda cubs were born this summer and they've got new names. I love this. I okay. love it. Marcy was born on July 11th and Paula was born on June 22nd. Oh, there's the baby pictures. <laughs> oh my pictures. gosh, they do not even, they don't look real. They, they look, look like, like little stuffed, stuffed animals. animals. They're they do. so adorable. Okay, here's I a fun fact. This. Marcy is the name of the zoo panda's keeper and oh. Paula is the name of one of the past zoo directors. Oh, that's so sweet. That's good to know because I, I thought Marcy and Marcy Paula. Marcy and Paula. I like that though. The pandas. The pandas. <laughs> that's cute. We have a great show planned for you today. Uh, coming up, a musical treat. Abby Grimaldi back from Nashville. She's a Grand Forks native. She's going to play her latest song, Home, if you haven't heard it mm -hmm. yet. Uh, it's one of my favorites from her. 